Welcome to lesson two. In this lesson, we're going to create the freebie pages that you're going to put all your little freebie resources on for after they sign up for your email list. So they'll sign up for your email list, get delivered the link. In the email, they'll click the link and they'll get access to your freebies. We need a page for those to go on. That's what we're creating. Okay, so let's hop over into our WordPress site. You're going to click on pages and then you're going to click on add new page. Okay, you're going to type in the name of your page. So we set, we're just going to make ours adding single digit numbers. Okay, and you can make it whatever you want. I'm just making something up here, obviously. And we want to save the draft. Make sure every time you do any kind of edits, you save the draft. Notice this also has the classic editor. So very simple. This will be the title of the top at the top of your page. So this will be on your actual web page. So now you just want to give them any information or description about what is on this page and what they need to do to access it. So very simple, just something like this. Here's your free content for your lesson on laboratory safety, laboratory safety, worksheets, Word docs, PowerPoints, and PDFs. You could even put in here, click any of the blue links below. Like you can be very descriptive with this, but basically you just need a title. MIP, add this to a Google doc. So all you have to do from now on is copy and paste it because this is going to go at the top of every single one of these pages. Okay. And we have hundreds of them, right? So make sure you have a format for this, a template that you can use. And then after that, so I'm just going to copy this exact same thing and put it in there. And then after that, you want to actually deliver the freebies. Okay. So if you want it to look exactly like it did on iTeachly, so let me just hit, uh, open this. So if you want it to look exactly like this and you don't want to use buttons or whatever, I like to just use links because we give away so many freebies in every one. It makes it much easier to, uh, it, it gives it a better flow, I think, than having a ton of buttons on the page. That's just a matter of preference. You can do whatever you want. All right, so we're going to add these, add all of our files. Well, the first, we give away a lesson plan, a bell ringer, homework assignment, and then we give away like the student edition and the answer sheet for all of these things for these because... And we don't do this with blogs. We don't give away the answer sheet or the teacher edition with our blog posts. You have to sign up for our membership to get those. But with our sample unit, we do because we want them to have full access to see exactly what they're going to get when they join the membership. So this is more of a close-up look at the membership. That's why we have these pages not showing on the website. We don't want all the answer documents just posted everywhere. And we only do this for our sample stuff. So none of our actual lessons have the answer files anywhere on the internet. They don't exist. Okay, you have to be logged in to get access to them. So, but these pages are not for that. These are for give them everything. Okay, remember, we're trying to get the teachers to use this stuff. All right, so after we paste in our heading and directions there, we're just going to start making this stuff. Now, I use a block quote for this just so it's a different color on the page. So they know anytime on any of my websites, anytime they see this darker background, they know that there's links inside of it. And that goes for our blog post. That goes for everything. So I... I always put them in block quotes. You don't have to do that. You can just add them straight to the site. If you want to be, if you want your website to be all uh, white and a different color or black and white, whatever you choose your color palette to be, if you don't want this box in the background from the block editor, then just don't use it. Okay. So let's head back over to you can math and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I would hit block quote and then I would hit, I want to add a bullet because I want it to be indented and I want them to be have some form of a separation or flow. You could also number them if you wanted to. I use the bullets. That is totally just a matter of preference. Okay, if you want to put a title on this thing, undo both of those. And let's say I'm going to do the block quote and let's just say we're going to give away the worksheet first. And maybe you want to make it bold, hit enter. And then we want a list of our files for that. You're going to click on add media upload files, and then you can dra drag and drop them in. So if you just want to highlight them all and drag them in here, that's quicker than actually choosing them. So you can go to select files. And then I'm just going to upload the worksheets from one of the lessons that we have in Intervention Adventures. So these are not, these are just generic files. So I'm going to select the worksheet. I'm going to open the files. And you want to make sure that you're linking to the media file for each of those. And you'll notice they have checks. That's how you know it's going to be uploaded. If you uncheck it, then only the ones with checks will be uploaded, but they are in your media file now. So I'm, if you're holding control and click on all of them, you can upload them all at the same time. Make sure you put your title in there that you want, because that's what's going to pop up on the page. 
hit insert into page and there they are. So now all you have to do is go ahead and just format it the way you want. So I'm just clicking in front of the lesson number, hitting enter, right? And then after the last one, if I hit enter twice, it'll let me type in my next thing. So maybe the next thing I'm gonna give away is the bell ringer. And then you just repeat this process over and over again. And once you are done with that, you hit enter twice to get out of there again, and it'll bring you outside that block quote area. And now you can insert your image and whatever else your call to action here at the bottom, okay? And make sure you put a little bit of text above it just to say, do you want access to everything? Go ahead and click the button, right? And that's it. That's how you make these pages. So your uh, slug for these will be whatever you made the title of your lesson with just a bunch of dashes in the middle. I recommend just leaving that because that's going to be Google friendly as well. And then you can also work on all of your SEO stuff for your Yoast plugin, put in your meta description, put in your keyword, and go ahead and make sure that you get as many of these things as you can. But know that this is not super important on these pages because remember, they're hidden. So you can find them in Google, but they're not like on the front end of our website. Like they're not something you're just going to click a button on the website and see it right? So the SEO analysis on these pages is not as important. You just want to make sure you cover the basics. So you're never going to hit the word count uh, little light thing here. And your key phrase length is not important. Your internal links will for sure have enough of those. Images, you won't have a bunch of images. So that's not a big deal. So don't worry about all those things. If you can get this thing to orange for this one, then that's pretty good. Okay. Now, if you want to put more text and stuff in here, you can. But my advice would be keep it short, sweet, and to the point so that they know, go to this page from the email, click the link to access it, and use the resources. And then come back tomorrow to the next email, and we're going to get the same thing. That's the goal of this, to funnel them down, to click on the button to join your membership. Okay, so that's how you create these pages. You'll hit Save Draft. Remember to do that every once in a while just so you have it saved. And we will publish these pages on a different date once we are done setting everything else up on our website. And then if you want, you can set a featured image for these. So if you want to make an image for each of these, that will just help with search engine stuff too. Go ahead and do that. And then once we are done with all of our pages, we're going to take these links and then we'll add them into our emails. And we'll do that in a different day. So you don't have to do that right now. But I just want you to know that's the next step kind of in this whole process with these pages. All right, so that wraps up lesson two. Let's head on to the wrap up for day 17.